A lever is a simple machine that can either multiply a force or a speed. When someone is using a simple lever, it can be used to make it easier to move an object or it can help you to move an object faster, but a lever can't do both at the same time. The teacher will need to find a board approximately 1 meter long and mark off 5 positions on the board. Positions 1 and 5 are near the end of the board, position 3 is in the middle of the board, and position 2 and 4 are halfway between the end and middle positions. The students will begin by placing the triangular block under position 3 while two or three books are placed on position 5. The triangular block is the fulcrum or balance point. The books are referred to as the load and the effort they exert is referred to as the effort force. The effort force should be exerted down to cause the book to move up. They will measure the amount of force needed to move the books by holding the spring scale to the lever point and pulling down. They will then move the fulcrum to position 4 and pull down on position 1. Next they will move the fulcrum to position 2 and pull down on position 1. They should use the spring scale each time to measure the force being exerted and record the forces in the table. They should estimate and then measure the force when the fulcrum is moved to positions 2.5 and 3.5. They can refer to the diagram on page 73 in their text. Have the students tie a heavy cord around the books and lift them straight up while holding the spring scale. Now have them vary some of the other positions of the effort force, the load force, and the fulcrum, as in a class 2 lever and a class 3 lever seen on page 74 of their book. They should notice that there are different advantages to these levers.